What's up YouTube, this is Matt, and today I'm coming at you guys with the ultimate $1,000 video editing PC build. Now, because this is a video editing PC, it's going to be much more processor intensive than GPU intensive, and there's going to be other things that are going to be changed around a lot, but if you guys want to see this, I'd recommend sticking around because this is a really great build, especially for $1,000. Starting off with the CPU, I went with the Intel Core i7-5820K. This processor is 6 cores and 12 threads, and for only around $373, it's a really good deal. It's got 20 PCI lanes and it's got a turbo speed of up to 3.6 gigahertz with the base clock and because this is a K processor that means it's unlocked so you will be able to um, overclock it if you have a cooler that will be able to give you the headroom to do that. Also this processor is on the x99 platform so that means you're going to be using DDR4 and the more expensive X99 motherboard. So even though this is a very good deal, price per performance for the processor itself, you are going to have to buy into the more expensive technology. Moving on to the cooler, I went with a very highly rated choice. It's the Hyper 212 Evo. For around 28 bucks, this is a really good choice. It's going to give ample amount of cooling for the stock settings and may give a little bit of headroom for overclocking, but probably not. But in a budget build like this, where every dollar counts, this is a great choice. Moving on to the motherboard, I went with the ASRock Extreme 3 X99 motherboard. This is only around $141. This motherboard has everything we need, including USB 3 and 10 SATA 6 gigabit per second ports. The only downside to this motherboard is that there's only 4 RAM slots with a max of 64 gigs of RAM allowed so if you are trying to have a crazy amount of ram like 128 gigs in the future which would cost a very large amount of money then you may want to look somewhere else but for our purposes this is going to work fine and give us ample room for expansion in the future speaking of ram i went with a crucial 16 gig kit of ddr4 ram that's clocked at 2133 megahertz it's two 8 gig sticks which will give you room to add another 16 gig kit for 32 gigs in the future and this is only around 130 dollars so it's a really good deal right now and as x99 uh, ddr4 ram drops in the future you'll be able to expand it if you need to Moving on to storage, this is really the only place I had to skimp a little bit in this build. I went with a 2TB Hitachi Dexstar 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive. And really, ideally, you would want more storage than this, or you'd want this storage plus an SSD solution. But for right now, storage, you'll have plenty of time before this is filled up for you to expand and add more storage or add an SSD. But for price per performance, this is you really can't go wrong with this drive. It's only $56 for 2 terabytes, so it's a really good deal. Moving on to the graphics card, I went with a Sapphire Radeon R9 280 3GB uh, card. This is going to be great for video editing with... Um, with graphics acceleration in Premiere and things along that line. And really, this is about as powerful as we need at this price point. And even if you wanted to, you could load up Windows on this and game. But because this is a video editing PC, graphics performance isn't the highest priority. Moving on to the case, I went with the NZXT S340 case. This is only $65. It's a very highly rated case and is going to support all of the parts that I've chosen. Moving on to the power supply, this build is going to use around 450 watts, and I went with an Antec 550 watt 80 plus platinum power supply that's just over $50 right now, which is a very good deal for an 80 plus platinum power supply. Nothing else in that um, efficiency you're going to be able to get at this price. So if you're looking for a power supply around in this range, I definitely recommend checking that out. And it's a great fit for this build that may be on for long times rendering and editing and doing other things along that line. So this wraps up the build guys. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and comment like and subscribe and this is Matt from Tech by Matt signing out.